Hello and welcome to this week's game. This week is a card game and it's called Fraction to Decimal Race. So you need an ordinary pack of cards and I'm going to use my favourite best flamingo cards for this but any ordinary pack of playing cards will be just fine. So the first thing that you need to do is to sort out all of these cards. So you want all of the aces, all of the kings, all of the queens, jacks and tens into a separate pile. And as you should know by now there should be four of each of those cards. So I'm just going to quickly sort them out. Okay. Whoops, put the wrong ones down. Okay, that looks good to me. So I'm just going to have a, just a quick flick through. It doesn't overly matter if you haven't got all of them, but it does work best if you can. So these cards, the cards that are number two to nine, give them a little extra shuffle and they are going to be your numerator. So just to help you remember, we're going to make a fraction. So the numerator are all the cards from two to nine. There's my numerator. It's a fraction, so I need my fraction line. Here's a space for the denominator and those cards are ace, king, queen, jack and ten. I've got them all sorted here. Just give them another little shuffle and put those down as the denominator. So this game you can play on your own if you just want to practice your fraction to decimal conversions on your own or you can play against another person or against two other people, however many people that you like. So essentially what we're going to do is to create a fraction and turn that into a decimal. So the first person that does that wins. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. So turn over the numerator. I'm going to have eight, oh, eight tenths. 10 means 10. Eight tenths, that's an easy one. 0 0.8, the tenths column is the first column after the decimal place. That was quite easy. How about we have another one? Hoping for something a little more tricky this time. Nine is my numerator. Nine kings, so that's nine fiftieths. Now with this one, luckily it is quite hard, a little bit harder. We don't have a fiftieths column in our place value. We have tenths and then hundredths. So first a little bit of fraction work. Fiftieths we need to make into hundred. So I ask myself what's the relationship between 50 and 100 and I can see straight away it's times 2 or double. So I times the numerator by 2 also. 9 times 2 is 18. Five, sorry, 9 fiftieths is equivalent to 18 hundredths which equals 0.18. So you can see it's quite a simple game, but gives you lots of opportunity to practice converting tenths, twentieths, twenty-fifths, fiftieths and one-hundredths into decimals. Okay, good luck, enjoy playing against yourself, just to practice, become an expert and then challenge that person in your family that you most want to beat. Thanks for watching, bye now.